Hey guys, uh, Sun Sensational, back at you. Um, this is just a, uh, a quick video if anyone's interested in wiring relays. Um, first, a big thanks to Keylog for his help. He provided a lot of this information that I'm going to go over in the video uh, to me. And um, so I wanted to give him a, a shout out and thanks. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to quickly go over um, what's uh, what I'm doing here. Um, I bought this power vent fan and this is anyone that happens to buy these power vent fans and they're great fans um, yeah they're more expensive you can build your own but it's got a built-in damper and that's really great because it only opens the damper and blows the fan if the loads being energized you're charging your battery bank otherwise that damper closes and then prevents that cold air from coming in and back into your battery box and it's cold up here that can focus yeah we've got snow we've had snow since October up here in the mountains this box is fully insulated as you saw in my prior videos so I don't want to let in any cold so you know yeah it's a little expensive so I bought it but anyway I made a mistake in buying the 24 volt version thinking well I've got a 24 volt battery bank I should probably get that one I would have been better off buying the 12 volt and the reason why is if it was just a 12 volt fan, all I'd have to do is take my positive, my negative lead and terminate it straight up to the Outback's uh, positive and negative relay. This relay, no matter what your battery bank is, by the way, it'll only kick out 12 volts. That's the max power you're getting out of it. So yeah, it, the relay would turn on and energize and power the load, but it was not spinning the fan enough because it's only a 12 volt fan. I mean a uh, 12 volt power source and a 24 volt fan so what I had to do and the solution was I had to buy a second relay which was the automotive relay um, and um, anyway what it has done for me is it it's taking that 12 volt relay here and energizing this 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 automotive relay and then that relay opens and it allows me to take the 24 volt from the battery bank and then power that load in the same way so relays relay here off the outback is still you know I set the parameters when I want it to come on but it's basically a relay energizing another relay and then in turn taking my load uh, my load here and powering it from my source which is my full 24 volt so really quick um, here's a little diagram um, on uh, and this is a five um, five uh, spade automotive relay 12 volt relay I happen to buy the 40 amp one I don't know if it matters a whole lot for this application but um, but don't go by my colors because these wires are going to be different um, different manufacturers but the pins won't so you've got here uh, again five pins one two three four five your pin 30 is always going to go to your load um, your pin 86 is going to energize your coil it's the positive to the coil your pin 85 it's going to always energize the negative side of the coil. Um, your um, 87A is going to be to your negative or ground or your negative bu um, battery bank. Um, and then your 87 up top is going to go to your battery positive. That's where the source power is coming from. In my case, my 24 volt battery bank. So for me, it translated into, I just for simplicity, translated into the colors and hooked it up. So it's really easy and I'm just going to quickly go over it. Um, now I'm taking the positive and the negative off of this um, load. Start with the negative, the black. That's now just going to go straight to the your negative on your bus bar or your battery bank. In my case, the negative side of my shunt. Now I'm taking the positive side of that load, and it's going to connect to pin 30, which is your load. Happens to be my blue. Um, so my blue here is connected um, through. I also ran it through a one volt. I mean a, a one amp fuse as well. Is connected directly to that positive. Um, I took my black and my white off the uh, pin 86, 85, off the automotive relay, and I connected that up to my coil, my positive and negative. So that's where these are. Whoops, let that focus. That's off the outback. Um, and then I took the negative, which is my uh, 87A, um, happened to be my red, 
um, off of here. And this just goes straight also to the negative on your battery bank, or in, the, in my case, the negative side of my shunt, because that is connected to the negative of my battery bank. Um, and then, uh, and then of course you got your pin 87 and that's your load, the source load that happened to be yellow in my case, uh, my yellow wire, but in all cases, it'll be your pin 87 and it must go through a fuse. Uh, in my case, I used a one amp fuse, um, in line. So this is it, the yellow, it actually turns into this red wire, goes through this one amp and it hooks up to the positive of my battery bank. So that's it. Hope that helps. Um, and uh, last little point on how um, relays work in general for anyone that doesn't know. Um, a relay, I'll explain the mechanics of what's going on. Outback's got a 12 volt relay. You set the parameters on how you want it triggered. Mine happens to be incoming voltage from the panels. If it hits a certain level, it's triggered. Um, wh so what happens is once it's triggered, these go to the coil of the relay and it energizes the coil and a coil is like almost like a corkscrew and by that uh, electricity flowing through that corkscrew if you will upward or downward it creates a magnetic field that magnetic magnetic field in turn because it was energized um, takes this contact this little metal contact inside this relay and it closes it and it allows the source power to come in and then power the load, you know, and that was the, the load here. And that's all it is. It's really, really simple. Um, and um, anyway, that's it. I hope um, I didn't bore anyone too much with this, but it's really up here for anyone that's looking for um, to solve the 24 volt problem uh, when you have a 24 volt fan or load. Um, or higher voltage load and uh, you're connecting it to your outback uh, or other charge controllers or, or even inverters because these auxiliaries it doesn't matter that you have a 48 volt battery bank or a 24 volt battery bank if you're just going directly to these relays they're only going to kick out a 12 volt so that's your solution and hope that helps all right take care uh, and uh, happy thanksgiving to everyone